The lowest layer of Mankandi's leg armature is the bones that deform the geometry of Mankandi directly. For the leg, we have a thigh bone, a calf bone, a midfoot, and a toe bone. For right now, let's consider those bones as a chain of connected bones that can be animated in FK, each one the child of the other. So we can rotate the thigh, the whole leg rotates, the calf rotates the calf and foot, and so on and so forth. The problem with this, of course, is that there's nothing that locks the foot into position on the ground. So as you move and rotate the upper body, the feet are going to go all over the place. And so there's no really good way to keep the character standing on the ground. And there's a problem with pinching at this joint because of the rotation of those two big bones coming into it. We have this little bone here at the knee that can be used to ease that pinching. It's a child of the thigh and if you rotate it 50% of the rotation of the calf it can really make the deformation look a lot nicer. Now instead of doing this by hand let's do our first leg rigging approach by adding a constraint. Right click on the calf then shift click on the knee and then control alt c copy rotation then change that influence from the default 1 to 0.5. Now you have a bone that automatically will rotate 50% smoothing the deformation of the calf rotation.